the statement. I have a few concerns, Honorable Speaker. One, I think as a, as a National Assembly, we should sit back and understand what is going on. I'm seated with some members of that committee, Madam Speaker, and they are expressing satisfaction on what's going on. Madam Speaker, few fundamental issues about such a thing. I don't understand how such a, a program can go on without public, uh, without public participation. This is a house of rules. We enact laws. We are supposed to follow the laws. Two, Madam Speaker, the greatest systems, most sophisticated, KRA, name them, have never had of a system that cost one or four billion. A system, Madam Speaker. I'm told the system, the, the platform that NHIF ran on, they only needed 700 million to upgrade. But a whooping 104 billion. Madam Speaker, you must also understand that these people did single sourcing. The government went for single sourcing for such an amount of money. We cannot allow this to go on in this country. We are saying, take a step back, go and listen to what Kenyans are saying. We cannot take all the important infrastructure of this government in one foreigner called Adani. We cannot. We cannot give him the airport. We cannot give him Ketrako. We cannot give him our health system. It's going to collapse. Lastly, Madam Speaker, I have read and interrogated this statement very well. The benefits that uh, NHIF was giving were superior than the benefits this uh, system is going to give, Madam Speaker. I want to beseech this National Assembly that when the country is headed in a wrong direction, we must say no, let's step back and listen. This thing is a bad thing. It is causing damage to our country. We, are not, we will not have a country at the end of the day. Mr. Chairman, sit back, go and follow processes you cannot award a contract of one or four billion by single sourcing. You cannot. The eating is just too much. We should not allow this eating and looting in this country. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes, sir, Honorable Justice Kenya. Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. And make it brief so that the chairperson will be able to respond. I'll be very brief, Madam Speaker. And uh, mine is not related to the statement that has been given by the chairman of the health committee. But, Madam Speaker, on the... No, on the I thought we... we I'm, I'm only letting you... I'm entertaining any comments on what the chairperson has said. What do you want to talk about? Sorry, Chair. I, I had sought a statement from the chairman of the health committee on the 15th of August. Uh, this year, on the state of smallpox in this country, mpox, sorry. Okay, I think uh, you, there's no relevance to what we are discussing now, so you'll have to ask that at another time. Okay. Yes, uh, Honorable Member for Funula, and then I'll come to you, Mr. 